Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Kalos region's possible connections to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, everybody knows, as I mentioned in my previous video, that it appears that Scarlet and Violet's region is based on the Iberian Peninsula. And on a map that is very, very, very close to real world France, which means there's probably going to be a lot of callbacks in this game to Generation 6. What should those callbacks be and how heavily should they lean into them? Let's discuss it right here. One of the most widely debated and criticized parts of Generation 6 was the amount of loose ends. There were so many things from the Kalos region and from Pokemon X and Y as a whole that just never got addressed. Everybody expected because of how many plot holes, not plot holes, just lore holes there were in the Kalos region that a third game, a Pokemon Z, was just guaranteed. And then that never happened. We got Generation 7. Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. They even punted some of the stuff from Gen 6, include with Zygarde, into Generation 7. It was really strange. Some of these loose ends can hopefully be fixed in Scarlet and Violet. And one of the first things that I want to address is the southern portion of Kalos. There was a big theory back when X and Y was around that we were going to get a DLC update or a third version or a brand new game that was going to give us the southern part of France. The Kalos region is predominantly the north of France. There's a whole other part of this area of the world that just wasn't addressed. And while I don't think Scarlet and Violet is going to be the southern part of France, it's going to be the Iberian Peninsula. I think they can take a lot of those ideas that the community had back then and incorporate them into Scarlet and Violet. Some of the Pokemon and some of the regional forms can be directly taken from Kalos. You can have a ton of Generation 6 love in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Give Pokemon like Go-Goat, for example, a brand new form or maybe a brand new evolution. Something to call back to Generation 6's really, really strong roster of Pokemon. Another interesting thing that Generation 6 did is they broke up the Pokedex into regions. You had the Central Kalos region and you had two others, I believe, the Eastern and Western Kalos, where you could find a bunch of other Pokemon and you categorize them in the Pokedex in different locations. It was a really interesting way to approach the Pokedex and I think they could pay homage to that by breaking up the Pokedex for Scarlet and Violet in some interesting ways as well. Now of course modern games have done this too. Legends Arceus has individual Pokedexes for each of the various regions where you catch Pokemon and the, the various open world areas that you can explore and travel to from the main town. But I think they could take this idea and pull it back to Generation 6 and really split the region up. And in some of the northern parts of Scarlet and Violet, like I mentioned before, you have some of those Kalos Pokemon. So it's a nice callback with the roster and gives you some ideas for regional variants, evolutions, and other things that you can explore with it. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you could unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. There were also a ton of unanswered questions in the Kalos region as well. Not just talking about geography and not just talking about what we could take as inspiration in Scarlet and Violet, but what answers could we actually get to real questions from Generation 6? There are a couple that come to my head right off the bat. One of those, of course, is the sundial, the sundial in Coomerine City. What's the deal? Not in Coomerine, in Anastar City. The Anastar sundial, where's the moon dial? Everyone thought in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon that maybe this would get addressed and the theories kind of died after that, but we still have a lot of questions about it. We still have things we don't know. Maybe finally we get the moon dial in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Another thing that we never got the answer to, and this was a very popular fan one, was the train station in Coraway Town. There's a train station. You can come and go from this town, but you can't go by train. We have the letter from Professor Sycamore in this town, where he first takes his first step, supposedly, in the Kalos region. There's a lot of unanswered questions with where this train station and where, this, where these tracks go. Maybe there's a train station that also has no ending in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and fans can finally be rewarded with the answer of where do all the trains go? Maybe they went to Unova this entire time. Anvil Town in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 was another train station area in that game that didn't have, you know, a lot of connections. 
but maybe Scarlet and Violet can finally address it. Another thing that was always interesting to me was Kailud City. I don't know how you pronounce it, Kailud, Kailud, but it's a town in the south of Kalos, uh, right south of Vanneville Town, your, your starting town in the game, that is really disconnected from the rest of the region. You can only get there via train, and it just, it always felt a little bit excluded from the rest of the region. Of course, there are mountains to the south of this town, but it is nestled in its own little area. So maybe it shares some connections and it shares some culture with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think that would be really cool. Maybe there are also some callbacks to the legendaries of Pokemon X and Y. We didn't get a ton of answers with Zygarde in Sun and Moon. Of course, the anime fleshed Zygarde out back in X and Y, and we did get new forms and a lot of new stuff for Zygarde in Sun and Moon. But there really wasn't a ton in terms of lore developed for Zygarde with Pokemon Sun and Moon. You could find his cores and you could eventually create perfect Zygarde and all of that, but I would love to see some reasons as to why this region of the world in particular was so important for Zygarde. It's just something that we never really got an answer to, and I think it would be really cool to bring back some of these older Pokemon for the first time in a while. The Mythicals of Kalos is also something that I want to bring up here. They really didn't get a lot of love. Volcanian? For a long time, there was a very big fan expectation that the power plant area of Pokemon X and Y was going to be where you could get Volcanion. And there were a bunch of these power plants that you just never were able to explore. They never added any events that let us go inside. It was never done. Deontay, very similarly, there really wasn't a ton of lore given for Deontay in the Kalos region. It just kind of, uh, Deontay just kind of existed. Hoopa as well was basically shoehorned into Oras, and he uh, Hoopa brought through all the legendary Pokemon in that game. Even though Hoopa was a Gen 6 mythical, it really never had a lot going on with Kalos. Maybe some of these mythicals make their return in, Sa in Scarlet and Violet, and maybe they play a bigger role. Maybe we're going to get some more lore for them. All of this being said that now that we're finally in this area again, I understand that Galar was also close to France. Uh, the United Kingdom and France share a channel, so... Maybe we could have gotten some there, but we didn't. So this is another really good opportunity. They continue to come back to Kalos. And finally, hopefully, I think we're going to get some connections to a really underappreciated region. But with that being said, I would love to know what you guys think. Do you want to see some Kalos love in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Do you want to see some of these questions finally answered? Or do you prefer the mystery? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, video, not video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another upload. That being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.